The Wissemberg Gap, with the Falzerwald and Bayenwald marked in green the Wissemberg Gap is a corridor of open terrain. Approximately 6 km wide, between the hills of the Palatinate Forest to the west and the Bayenwald Forest to the east. It marks the border between the Palatinate to the north and Alsace to the south, and by extension between Germany and France. The gap is dominated by the French town of Wissemberg, from which it takes its name. The average altitude of the land in the corridor rises from 150 meters by the Bayenwald to 250 meters by the Palatinate Forest. Because of the Wissemberg Gap's position on the Franco-German border, it has frequently been a favored route for military invasions. Notably during the War of the Austrian Succession, the French Revolutionary Wars, the Franco-Prussian War and the Second World War. In the medieval period the Wissemberg Gap was an internal border within the Holy Roman Empire, marking the boundary between the County Palatine of the Rhine to the north and the Alsatian Decapole. A federation of ten cities including Wissemberg, to the south. Under the 1679 Treaties of Nijmegen the Decapole was annexed by Louis XIV of France, and the Wissemberg Gap therefore became an international border between the Holy Roman Empire and the Kingdom of France. During the War of the Spanish Succession, it was feared that the Grand Alliance might attempt to invade France through the Wissemberg Gap. And so in 1706 Marshal Villar established a series of fortifications, the lines of Wissemberg across the Gap. These fortifications were later extended to the Rhine at La Terborg, nine miles to the southeast. Despite the presence of the lines, an Austrian army under Prince Charles Alexander of Lorraine succeeded in forcing its way through the Wissemberg Gap and into Alsace in 1744, during the War of the Austrian Succession. The Austrians made another attempt to invade France through the Wissemberg Gap in 1793, during the French Revolutionary Wars. In October of that year the Count of Wurmser defeated the French army guarding the border at the First Battle of Wissemberg and marched his forces south into Alsace. But in December he was defeated by General Pichgru at the Second Battle of Wissemberg and forced to retreat back into the Palatinate. Troops of the 4th Royal Bavarian Division at the 1870 Battle of Wissemberg. The Wissemberg Gap was the route selected for the Prussian invasion of France and the Franco-Prussian War. Indeed, the resulting Third Battle of Wissemberg, which took place on August 4, 1870, was the first major engagement of the war. The Prussians and their Bavarian and Swabian allies were nominally commanded by Crown Prince Frederick, but their movements were in practice directed by his chief of staff, General Leonhard Graf von Blumenthal. The battle was a victory for the Prussians, enabling their forces to pour into France through the Wissemberg Gap, and the invasion of France culminated a month later with the decisive Battle of Sedan and the collapse of the Second French Empire. The Gaysburg Monument commemorates the Battle of Wissemberg, and the town cemetery in Wissemberg holds large numbers of soldiers, including the stately tomb of French General Abel Douai who was killed in combat. As a result of the Franco-Prussian War, France was obliged to cede Alsace and Lorraine to the new German Empire, and the Wissemberg Gap therefore ceased to be an international border and became an internal boundary within Germany. As such it did not see any military action during the First World War. The Treaty of Versailles returned Alsace to France, and restored the Wissemberg Gap status as an international border. In the Second World War, the Gap became the scene of significant operations in spring 1945, when Allied forces advanced through it into Germany as part of the Operation Undertone Offensive. The formation which led the push through the Gap was the American Vicor, commanded by General Edward H. Brooks. Thanks for watching.